We have shown a video how to set up 3 km wireless network for in 5 minutes for IP cameras. There's no technical skill or tool required. People also ask how we can log in the network bridge to change the setting. Sometimes we may need to access the network bridge to change the setting. For example, we may like to turn off the Wi-Fi access point at the camera end so people don't discover the Wi-Fi network outdoor. All right. Uh, I'm going to use this computer to log in the network bridge. Actually, we also can use the mobile device. It's only the web browser we need. So, uh, technically, any device with the web browser will do. They still have another way we can access the network bridge. Uh, here we have two network RG45 port. We can pick one of them and just log in with the computer by using the internet cable. Now let's get started. Firstly, let's try to connect to the Wi-Fi access point of the network bridge. Now let's go to the Wi-Fi setting of the Mac. We can see these two are the Wi-Fi access point created by this both network bridge. Uh, we see two because they are stay close. In practical application, we probably only see one. So before I try to connect to the one of them, I would like to spend a little time to explain how the network design in this bridge. Actually, you can consider there's two subnets in this bridge. One is the primary network. They will pairing just from the trunk so the data can send from the camera to the bridge and to the other end and land into the recorder. And actually, they still have another subnet which only can be used to access the network bridge. Uh, all right, now let's first, let's just connect one of them. Okay, the default password is A, A, A. It's just A, A. All right, now one more. Okay, we click join. Just wait for a while. Now we can see once we connect to the bridge, we also have the internet. The reason is because this moment the Mac is using the primary network because this receiver has been connecting to our primary ne network with the internet accessing. So now this Mac also can access the network. However, we cannot access the bridge because the bridge is using a different subnet. Now, so before we can go to access the bridge, we will need to manually configure the IP address of the Mac. So we open the network preference and we go to the advanced. Then we go to find the TCP IP. Here we can see now the net Mac is receiving the prime uh, the IP address from our primary network network. But I had to manually change. So in order to access the network bridge, now I'm going to fill in the IP address 169.254.254.100. 100 is just the IP address and makeup for this Mac. So the, the thumbnail is 255.255.0.0. So there's no need for the Rota, because they are going to stay in the same network. All right, now we apply and save. Just wait for a while for the Mac to have the new setting. All right, now we just open the browser. Here I'm going to type in the IP address 169. Dot two five five dot two five four dot two five four. This is the broadcast IP address. Okay, we are changing. This is the broadcast IP address. It's going to send a message to the whole net to and both receive both bridge will respond and we can see we have two devices. One is the master, one is the slave. So we we'll go to the server. This is working in server mode. We log in. And uh, username and password is admin for default. We can change after we log in. 
Never. All right. Now this is the setting of the master, the the right one, the left one, and we can go to Wi-Fi. Here we can see the Wi-Fi setting. All right. If we want to hide the what Wi-Fi says point, we just click, check the hide, and just click save. So we are not able to discover the Wi-Fi access point by using the mobile device or the uh, iPad. And we also can go to see the bridge setting. We can see most like the protocol, bandwidth, all has been setting the auto. So technically, we don't need to configure anything. We just need to make sure both work in the same channel and the uh, one is the server the other is a client then we can form the chunk between the two point point to point the one more thing which is important is the wireless channel here we need to make sure the wireless channel you are using it just uh, make the regulation of the local and also it's not forbidden all right that's all thanks for hanging out don't forget to subscribe if you have any question, please leave a comment below.